Well here we are today on this beautiful day at Aintree Racecourse. There are some of the stands behind me. You can see there are no punters today. It's a quiet day here, uh, which is good because it gives me the opportunity to talk to you about objects of trusts, but objects in a different way to that which we've looked at before. There's the course itself, and there are some of the jumps you can see in the distance. Well, here I am, then at Aintree Racecourse, sitting in one of the stands, as you can see. No horses today, um, which is good, because there are therefore no crowds, and you'll be able to hear me discuss the case of Pettingall and Pettingall which is a beneficiary principle case. So it's a case that we might consider when we're thinking about objects of trusts, set EK, but not in the normal sense where we've looked at the area so far in the McPhail or IRC and Broadway cottages sense in the given postulant test or the, 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 the complete list test sense of how we might make distributions as trustees or the court to human objects. There is a whole raft of cases, Endicott, Riasta, Pettingall and Pettingall, Redeen, um, to name but a few, which mull on purpose trusts. So not trusts that exist for an object which is human, but trusts which exist for a, a purpose. And, and Pettingall, the one I'm going to discuss today in these beautiful surroundings of Aintree, is a trust for the benefit of a horse. Uh, and in particular, it was the testator's favorite black mare. And 50 pounds was given by the testator, a, a huge amount of money, particularly in the 19th century. Uh, even now, of course, really not, not insignificant. Um, but 50 pounds was given for the upkeep of the favorite black mare whose shoes were to be taken off and she was to be placed in a field, never ridden again basically looked after until she passed away. In terms of perpetuity, there could be issues with her age. Horses can live beyond 21 years, or as was said in Hooper, as long as, as is lawful. Um, so the judge had to consider whether or not you could have a trust for this horse. And of course, a horse cannot enforce a trust. You don't often see them in the Chancery Division enforcing trusts. And so, what other mechanisms could there be? Uh, and in this instance, the judge held or discussed the idea of court oversight. In other words, the idea that any given time the trustees could be called to the court to account for how that £50 was being spent for the upkeep of that favourite black mare. Therefore, this trust could have validity, it could be enforced, despite the fact that Prima Facchi there's nobody to enforce it, i.e. the horse can't enforce. So the purpose of the trust would fail ordinarily, but for the court's intervention. In another horse case, which is Reed Dean, it was residuary legatees who were able to enforce. So in other words, obviously the, the horse can't enforce here, but any residuary legatees below that beneficiary, or the, the, the beneficiary of the purpose, we should say, may take. So for them to be able to take, they want to ensure first that in redeem the horse and hounds do get benefit and they can take theirs. These are, we are told, anomalous cases. That's to say cases that subvert from the beneficiary principle that was enunciated in Mor Morris and Bishop of Durham, the idea that for a trust to be valid there must be an object that can be identified. These are anomalies, this run of cases Pettingall, Redeen, etc. But nevertheless, ones that have been allowed by the courts. There are other methods of enforcement of trusts, which we'll go into in a, in a much longer video that we're going to produce on the beneficiary principle itself. So from here, and the beautiful surroundings of Aintree Racecourse, which is magnificent, you must come on a race day and have a look and experience this key part of Liverpool. Uh, and of course the racing fraternity, it's an incredibly important race course in our history. Um, so from here, 
I will now go and study the form because there is some racing today at Haydock, the sister course of this beautiful course. And on that point, I bid you goodbye. So from here at Aintree, goodbye.